Today, we're going to talk about a common issue that many PlayStation 4 users encounter, the dreaded error code CE32958-7. This error message often appears when you're trying to access or launch a game, and it indicates that the data on your console may be corrupted. But fear not, because I'm here to guide you through the steps to fix this problem. Firstly, let's start by turning off your PS4 completely. Make sure it's not in rest mode, but completely powered off. Once it's off, unplug the power cord from the back of the console and wait for about 30 seconds. This will allow any residual power to dissipate. After the short wait, plug the power cord back into the console and turn it on. Now we need to rebuild the database. To do this, you'll need to boot your PS4 into safe mode. To enter safe mode, press and hold the power button on the front of the console until you hear a second beep. This usually takes around seven seconds. Once you're in safe mode, connect your controller to the console using a USB cable. You'll see a menu with several options. Choose the option that says Rebuild Database and press the X button on your controller. This process may take some time, so be patient and let it complete. Once the database has been rebuilt, your PS4 will restart automatically. Now, try launching the game that was giving you the error code CE32958-7. Hopefully the issue will be resolved and you'll be able to enjoy your gaming experience without any further interruptions. If, however, the error persists, there are a few more troubleshooting steps you can try. One option is to delete and reinstall the game that's causing the issue. This can help resolve any potential issues with the game's data. Another option is to initialize your PS4, but be warned this will erase all data on your console, including games, saves, and settings so make sure to back up any important data before proceeding with this step. To initialize your PS4, go to the Settings menu, then select Initialization, and choose Initialize PS4. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete the process. Once it's done, you'll need to set up your console again, just like when you first got it. I hope these steps have helped you resolve the error code CE32958-7.